Now I want you today, if you're really willing to let God have his way, if you're really willing to allow God's will to be done, I want you to not only open your mouth, but I want you to open your heart and I want you to say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Now don't just say it with your mouth. I really want you to say it with your heart. If you really praise the Lord and welcome to prayer time. This is Pastor Kim Butler, and I am sitting in for Evangelist Stephanie Quarles. I'm so excited about our show today. We have special guests that have come all the way in from California to bless us. I'm so thankful to have them. We have Pastor Dave Gardner with us today. Amen. Amen. As well as his lovely wife, Sister Donna Gardner. Amen. Amen. And it is an honor to have them in our presence. Well, for those of you that don't know, they came in to minister to our congregation today. And they talked about worship. We're going to get a few tidbits from them about that, but just a few minutes later. Right now, we just want to kind of introduce you to Pastor Dave and Donna and get some information about where they're located. And if you are in the state of California, how you can reach to them. They're going to give you their contact information as well. And then we're just going to talk a little bit. But before we get started in our talk, just want to get some information from them. How y'all doing? All right. Hey, man, it is so good to have you guys here today. So tell, so tell our viewers, where are you from? Well, uh, I'm actually originally from Detroit, Michigan, hey. and uh, now we reside in California. Our ministry is in the city of Riverside, California, uh, and we're actually members of the Harvest Church in uh, in Riverside, California, with uh, Pastor Greg Glory. And uh, the Lord has been blessing us there. Me and Donna do uh, we do ministry for youth, we do ministry for marriage, and that's probably our biggest forte is the ministry of marriage. And so, with that being said. I'm going to turn it over to my partner, my girlfriend, my baby's mom, and all that. My lovely wife, Sister Donna. God please. Bless you. <laughs> God bless you all. Thank you for having us. You're more than welcome. And you wanted to ask another question? Let's see. You did say where we were located, and I wanted to emphasize we've been married since 1994, and we've been actively in marriage ministry about that. Length of time, time while the Lord's been working on us. Amen. Tell, tell me this, though. We're going to get to that in, in just a second. But tell me this. Today we were here, and you ministered to our congregation about the spirit of worship. I don't want to lose that because we're coming right into this. And just, just give us a little bit about the importance mm -hmm. of coming to him. Spirit yes. and truth. Yes. Please, yes. please. Yes. Either one if you take yes. it, because both of y'all bad. I know yes. you can have it. You know, I, I'm going to, to say a little bit about it. And the, the way we had it planned today is I had a portion that I was going to minister, and then I was going to turn it over to my wife, and she was going to share about being free to worship. Uh, and my part of it was really to talk about what, it, what God requires of us to be able to worship Him in spirit and in truth. One, there's sacrifice. And then the biggest part of that is, is that there is repentance. And so in order to talk about that, we had to go back to the Old Testament. And we talked about how the priests had to stop by the laver and they had to wash. And washing represents today repentance. Because in order for us to really worship God, there has to be a certain degree of repentance. We have to wash at the laver. And then we have to sacrifice. We have to be willing to let go of us. And we use the example of Moses and how Moses wanted to see the Lord and the Lord told him, no man can see me and live. Yes, yes. He can see, you can't see me and live. And so what that means is that in order to see his face, we have to die to self. This old man has to die. And that's a big sacrifice for many of us because we really want to live for us. But God requires us to die in order to get in his face. That's the big sacrifice. Repentance. And so today we dealt with that. But in addition to that, there are other things that we like to say that clogs our worship, that keeps us from being free in our worship. And that's what Sister Donna was going to talk about. I'm going to allow her to take it from there. Come on, Sister Donna. Come on, come on. Because, see, I'm ready to get back down on my knees because I know if I get on my knees, I get back up. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. Take this. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you would present your bodies as living sacrifices, 
holy and acceptable unto my Lord. Yes. And that's what the Lord had given me while I was in the back and my husband was in the front. That worship is truly obedience. Yes. Truly obedience. Yes, Lord. He said, how can you say that you love me and you don't even do the things that I say? Hallelujah. He desires truth truly on the end of parts. Yes. Knowing him and being known by him. Mm -hmm. That's intimacy. That's relationship. And that's what keeps marriages. That's what keeps us in that uninterrupted communion with the Lord. To abide in him. He desires obedience. Yeah. That's the sacrifice that he's looking for. You know, I respect the oneness in marriage. How when you leave your family and you cleave to one another. And if I'm if I'm correct, you said you've been married for four, 14 years? Since 1994. Or since 1994. I knew there was a four in there. I've been married for 14 years. I'm sorry. <laughs> but since since there was a there was that, that four in there. But I wanna say this. I have been to your home. I have seen your children. They are full of love. And I know that that love has to filtrate from the top. Yes. The priest of that home, yes. hallelujah, he, he, he gives that commandment yes. to his children yes. and then they got to obey the law of their mother. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and so I, 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 I just want you to, if you will, speak to us about the oneness and, and, and how do you or how would you express to those viewers that are, are in our listening audience that are not quite experiencing that oneness, how important the worship together yes. will, you know, how important that worship helps them to enter into, you know, that oneness that they can have with one. But they gotta be one with you know. So, yes. you know, can you just yes. can you just give us a little yes. bit of that and it's yes. okay? Yes. Amen. You know, um, what we do in our home is, is we, we follow the Bible and, and God's word is true. And we both believe that it is true and we walk in the truth of his word. And our children have never seen us compromise from that. Have we sinned? Yes. Have we fallen short at times? Yes, we have. But we have never compromised the word. We have never said one thing and walked completely different than what we have said according to God's word. Now, God says that the man is the head of the house and I am the priest of my home. Amen. But my wife follows me as I follow the Lord. Amen. As the, as Paul said, follow me, follow me as I follow the Lord. And so if I am submitted to God, which I try to be as much as I can, I find it very easy for my wife to just fall in line with that. And it's God's it's God's divine order that when I line up with him, she lines up with me and the children line up with us. Amen. And as long as we stay in, in, in what we call that wormhole, we stay right in that wormhole, everything just stays lined up. So we keep that, what we like to call a vertical leap. Because when we make that vertical leap, things are in order horizontally. Amen. And so to what Mama Kim was saying about our home, God is always first. God is always first. And then I take charge of my home. My wife comes after that, and the children fall in submission of that. Now, I'm going to let her give her take on that because she's going to take it just a little bit deeper. 